So, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have x plus 2 squared divided by 9 minus y plus 3 squared divided by 16 equals 1. So, um, again, first thing we want to do, guys, is identify our a squared. Now, again, I noticed that this is an ellipse minus, so therefore I know my 9 is my a squared. So I'll say a squared equals 9, so a equals 3. And then my c squared is a squared plus b squared, which is 25. I know my center is, remember, h is always with x, y is always with k, so negative 2, negative 3. Now I have enough information to kind of plot this. So my center is at negative 2, negative 3. Since my a is under my x, I know that my transverse axis is horizontal. It's not required to do this, but I highly recommend doing it because people usually make mistakes here. So I, I write in my transverse axis. And I'll just put a nice t there, transverse axis. Okay? You don't need to write your conjugate axis, but if you wanted to, you could say that's your conjugate axis. They're perpendicular of one another. But what's important about knowing your transverse axis is that's where my a is. That's where my vertices are. So A, you notice that now they're going left and right, right? Because your transverse axis is horizontal compared to the other one, it was vertical. So since A is equal to 3, I'm going to go to the right 3. And I'm going to go to the left 3. Vertice, vertice. I can label those vertices just by looking at my graph, which is 1, negative 3, as well as negative 5, negative 3. Basically, all I'm doing from my center is adding and subtracting 3, right? Going left and right. Um, I'm going to do the same thing for the foci. That's a distance of uh, 4. So basically from negative 2, I'm going to subtract 4, which would be negative 6, comma negative 3. And I'm going to add 4, which would be 2, comma negative 3. Or just look at it like this. Going 4 to the right and going 4 to the left. Okay. If you want to sketch your... Uh, if you want to sketch the uh, asymptotes, my co-vertices are at 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So again, I could do another. Is that a 1? Yeah. Let's do another color. And then last but not least is my asymptotes. So the difference between the only difference between a vertical and a horizontal uh, transverse axis for asymptotes is that the a over b is now switched. So now it's b over a times x minus h plus k. So um, I know my uh, x minus my h is going to be the same thing, and then that's going to be a minus 3. So I have y equals plus or minus my b, which is 4 over a, so 4 thirds, times x plus 2 minus my k. Foci? So the distance from my center to my foci is foci, is c, which I did that wrong, didn't I? Nobody said anything. Come on, guys. Distance of that is 5. So I should have been going left and right 5, right? So therefore, that is for my center. That should be a negative 7. And that should be a 3, right? Yes, so you're going left and right 5 from here. So I should have gone over one more point and then over one more point. And therefore, that means my covertices would have been up and down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And down 4, so covertices. So, all right, so that would have been changed a little bit. So I don't think my asymptotes are going to be that far off, but they would be a little bit different, a little bit changed. Okay. Does that answer your question, though? I made a mistake. But do you still understand how I got those? They go along the transverse axis. Here's your center. The, the foci go left and right a distance of c. 
So from the center, you go 5 to the right, 5 to the left, the plus or minus, right? A is the distance from your center to your vertices, plus 3, minus 3. But you're going left and right, so you're adding them to the x coordinate. OK? All right. Um, if you guys notice on your quiz, the hardest problem on the quiz was the one that you had to. Yeah. 